There's been a further escalation of violence in Hong Kong where a police officer has fired a gun during anti-government protests. The authorities say that his life was in danger. The protests began in response to a controversial extradition bill and have now been taking place for 12 weeks. From Hong Kong, John Sudworth reports. Hong Kong was once celebrated for its stability. Not anymore. Onlookers gaze down on a political crisis being lived out in running street battles. By nightfall, it was at times almost medieval. This reign of sticks and clubs brought to an end only by the sound of a gunshot as one officer draws his sidearm shooting into the air. Much of this city, it should be said, continues as normal, with the violence only in small pockets. But it's intensifying. Peaceful demonstrations don't work, according to so many people, because they have one million march, two million march, and the government still didn't listen. And therefore, this leads to escalation of force. There's now an established pattern. Barricades are set up. There are taunts and provocations. And then the police response. Meeting violence with violence. What's extraordinary is that despite volley after volley of tear gas and rubber bullets, the protesters show no sign of backing down. In fact, they're advancing, throwing the tear gas back and moving forward onto the police lines. With no political solution in sight, the cycle continues. The families of police officers also held a rally, concerned that it's their loved ones, not the government, taking the brunt of public anger. The government should do something, but not just to push the police in front of a protest, better not to face the protest. Yeah, and I think this will never end. Calm was eventually restored. But these scenes will not go unnoticed in Beijing, which has been issuing fresh warnings that the army could be sent in. John Sudworth, BBC News, Hong Kong.